adjusting knobs before before I hit the record button. All right, welcome to the stream. It's Friday night. We've made it past another long week. So let us celebrate. Oh. I forgot I left myself right in front of the, the Moogle house. The Mog tree. Mog mushroom. It's like a, a, a tree jump scare just ha occurred. Just took place on my stream. Uh, so that's funny that I did that. Set myself right outside. That's good. Um, so yeah. I don't know if it's 100% needed. Well, obviously it's not needed, right? You can do the side stuff whenever you want. But I'm saying like, I don't know if we're going to leave this section. Is it going to take us... There's the reactor. Anyway. I'm going to... We're going to be working on some stuff. I don't know how... I mean... We got a lot... Quite a bit still left to do. Um, there's even a tower that's still out there. That we can go and get. Uh, which we'll probably work on... Right after we do this house. Uh, but yeah. We're going to be doing side stuff until we... Before we ride on uh sid's aeroplane so and then these quests oh yeah the quest can't forget the quest okay so we have quite a bit we've got a packed friday night of side content try to set ourselves up for i don't know if we'll finish it tonight but set ourselves up for a weekend where we progress i want to hit i want to hit this game really hard this weekend that means like saturday during the day uh sunday as well um obviously tonight um, I have something I really should do, uh, first thing tomorrow, but hopefully I get my procrastinating ass, uh, with it. That doesn't take me too long, hopefully tomorrow. I don't mind saying it. Uh, I, so I need to go get my car inspected for the yearly inspection. I'm not 100% sure it's going to pass inspection. So I'm feeling very anxious about the whole situation. Clock is ticking due to a new, oh, new time limit. Uh, okay. And the Moogle, or Moglets, 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 definitely Moglets, are more mischievous than ever. Return them all to the Mog, style of Mog Stool before time runs out, or the game will end. Yeah. Four minutes. To get all five. Faster than one a minute. Oh, I thought I could jump over that because it was lowered. What's the point of... Go. Go. Oh. Where the fuck are you going? Go. No, I was... Oh, see, this is difficult because you want to not go too far past because then it's, it's going to... Don't go in the water, please. What are you doing? Oh, these barriers are causing problems because I can't jump over them at all. But they fly over it. Oh, this is actual pain. Get in there. Oh my god. He wants to hit me with those balls so bad. <laughs> he wants to do it, dude! I got none, and that took me a minute 20. Holy shit. This is the ultimate difficulty. Oh my god, I was not expecting to start this off off the stream. Lower the difficulty? No, come on now. Th this game, you fail once, and this game is like, oh my god, he's gonna need some brawl help. He's gonna need some help. Help! Help me! I have one video. Alright, go. No, don't go that direction, please. Alright, I'm gonna scare you. Don't do it. Don't you fucking do it. No. No. no I'd rather you not go that way. Actually, you're kind of close to the wind. Could be huge could be huge now i have quite a distance to run but we're gonna we're running it like 
The all star. Get in there. All right. I it was right to the whole to the, <laughs> my grip only lasted so long. Go. Go. Get in there. Okay, that one was quick. That was good. That's good. I maybe took care of the hardest one, you know, first. Look at me doing these skills. No way! Go towards the fucking... Oh, I did this so smart too. Bruh. No way. No way with this. Get in there. This one's so far out there. What the hell? Oh, okay. No, don't go that. That's farther back. Actually, there's a. I don't know how. Uh, it's a bad angle. It's a bad angle, guys. Go. Go. No way. Okay. 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 Is it just this one now? <gasps> Go. Run. Oh, I can't jump over these. God. No way! <laughs> I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Go! <gasps> I thought he was in! Oh my god, I was about to have a conniption. I was about to explode. Mm, mm, I'm coming in feisty, I'm coming in hot. the very first Mughal Emporium way back when. Their seven children went on to open up branches all over the world, Kubo. Oh, I wish my Mooglets would take a page out of their book. Kubo! Good for us. Kubo! Anything interesting catch your eye, Kubo? What do you got this time? A... Level boost, okay. We have a couple of those. Way of the Fists and Fortunes Untold, both very good. We're swimming in Moogle medals, but I don't want to spend them on these stuff. These stuff, uh, this stuff too soon. On the off chance we'll need it a little later down the line. Nice. Did Thank you, you Moogle. Anything you like, Kubo? Thank you, Moogle. I wonder, the way this map looks, you know, makes you think there's going to be one more open world area, which is up here. Um, so I'm trying to remember if I remember hearing before the game came out of those five open areas, but if that's the case, then the fact that, I mean, we, we stopped from finishing this one, but we're pretty much, you know, we're going to be working on this and then there's only one more of these chunks and I've been doing everything along the way. Ooh. It's quite the journey we've been on. Four. Sure. Alright, we're working towards that tower. Let's expose everything. You won't hold back. It's on you. Let me go for it. Give him your all. That's enough of you. Every little bit. Beat him. Beat him. One step at a time. I forgot the, how, how catchy the jingle music is. Alright, how do we want to approach getting to that tower? Probably turn our... Move your body, freery! Just a little this way. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, I want to go through. Why did I take the... I just took a bad turn from the Moogle house. Okay, I took a... Ooh. Am I going to wish I was up there at the moment? Yes. <laughs> the answer may not surprise you. I did one in my classic, like... It's Friday. Let's start early stream so I'm not just sitting around watching stuff or catching up on stuff. So that I can like either again end end more on the earlier side or at the very least um go for quite some time, you know. Alright, so I should have gone this way. This was the first big mistake. <laughs> I, d I looked at the map and I was like, oh, this makes sense to go like this way, and then I just completely misunderstood the uh, the direction assignment soon we'll cut across we'll heading this way a bit uh, let's catch ourselves up with so catch she's the only one oh resounding microphone yeah cool design it looks like a potion bottle honestly So much so that I think I will set him as leader. So I can level it up fairly quickly. Oh, we got these, these fucking freaks. I'm surprised they, uh... We're able to get them. the field with a bunch of these. Holy shit. The mines just everywhere. Magic Mog Box. Go! We mastered the ability right there. Did we not? Well, I was going ham with it. Yeah, we did. Holy shit. Good job. Good job. Only had to use it like two or three times. I love how quick. I feel like it took a little bit longer to level these up in the base game, and I don't mind that these go quick. You know what I mean? Alright, so this one would lose some stats, is the problem. For an extra slot. What am I putting in the extra slot? Item economizer. Oh, the item one actually was pretty good. Ah. <sighs> I'm willing to lose, like, lose out on 455 HP. Stick that. Uh, sorry, my back is itchy all of a sudden. Okay. Um,. Level boost. It, you know, do I really need level boost on the luck? Probably not. That's actually... It's funny that I've had that. I think this was what we got from the very... When they could join the team first. So I never really... <laughs> switch it up off that. I definitely think it's what was happening. 
So we'll, yeah, I like that a bit better. We'll keep this, this squad though at the moment. How's the, level-wise, 36, 35, do we have everyone pretty much? It's just Ketchi, that is 35 currently, okay. I still don't know, I'm, I'm, I could do a quick amount of like, just research. I am curious. If it's very easy to find. Final Fantasy Reaper EXP share. I don't know if that the uh, fucking thing didn't. Did I type in seven? Oh, I just said uh, rebirth. <laughs> I was like, did I type? Because I was seeing other things and then uh, people talking about the original Final Fantasy seven. Uh, also, I'm trying to avoid spoilers here. Um, uh, bit of a bit of a. Okay, uh, at least according to this random source. It's if you're if the party member is present, whether they're active or not, according to this site. Or this page that I've randomly pulled up. Now, whether I believe it or not, I don't know. So, does that mean that the amount that pops on the screen when I beat an enemy? The other question I had, which I'm too lazy now to definitely check. Is the amount that pops up, is that everyone getting that amount? Or is that amount split between the six? Or I guess seven now? I have seven people. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That I could actually do a quick research thing about, right? Okay, three, five. I would pick someone who has an easy. All right, Yuffie, 504. 504. I just gotta find enemies. An enemy, right? Ah, ah, I'm stuck. I don't want to go. On. I am seeing so much pop up in like shrubbery and stuff, and maybe it's just exacerbated because it's in like the jungly thing. But it's almost so much where I'm like, did I change? Hitting the wrong thing. Oh yeah, I remember that this was implemented. Prior prioritize maintaining 60 frames per second frame rate with a sharper image quality. Prioritize maintaining a 60 frame with a softer image quality. I remember that this was their solution because a lot of people were saying performance looked bad, which is why we normally I'm a performance guy, but I switched then to graphics because I heard the performance is smeary. We're too deep in now for me to actually want to switch or care to switch. Um, so I you can't just get it together. I can't. I don't know. But yeah, it's just um quite the... Uh, I, I'm going to assume it's probably because it's trying to render this whole jungle area. And so a lot of like bushes that I'm seeing like get... Um, like pop in. There's a really egregious thing. I think like, what, a stream or two ago? Alright, so my base number was 504 for Yuffie, right? And then I just gotta keep track of the numbers that pop once I kill an enemy. I also gotta find an enemy. Also, I gotta, like. How do I sneak in here? That's not a thing. I gotta find an enemy and I gotta sneak in. To a crevice of sorts. They're just animals. I saw the bunny rabbits and I've learned now what that means to what that means to do. 
Jungle Chocobo. Ah. Oh. Well, it's not exciting, but... I can go in here, it seems. I'm not necessarily trying to... I don't want to start the proto-alk thing at the exact moment. Ah, enemies. Alright, 504 for you, right? Oh shit, I didn't keep track. 159 for just one enemy. Well, when you're fighting, you I completely block out like everything else. 159 for killing one of the flowers, so then you'd imagine about 300. Uh, and then whatever the amphibi things. Amphibi things. Uh, 504. If, if it was totally split, then her getting what? This was about four more than 450 976 from 50 what was it 504 72 472 and one of those flowers got 150 it would have to be massive the it wouldn't make sense unless the amphibians are like a thousand or i mean even plus maybe like 2000 or 1500 each maybe a thousand I'm trying to run the math as quick as I can. So I assume the number that pops up, everyone's getting that amount. Is what I'm going to guess is the case. No more worrying. Out of me. Alright, so it seems... I don't know if this is going to take us through this. Oh, absolutely bogged. Okay. So I assume the game wants us to... Start here. And then go like that. Can I fast travel this? <sighs> I should have just tried. I, I, the thing was... I went like... I got to around here and I saw that there's very clearly a path that, that does like a thing right there. But I was like, oh, there's got to be some kind of easy entrance here. So that's on me. died because I was trying to get fancy. What do I think I'm doing? I don't even have enough for... Oh, I misunderstood the screen there. That's on me. Fuck no. That's on me. That's a moray. Alright. 
So now this, off the little path here, should be a thing I'm looking at. up. Oh, it's connected by that land. I need to get up there then. Oh, what the fuck? I'm gonna figure this out. I'm smarter than the average uh, bear. Do 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 Unless I can, I'm trying to just keep get finding these alternate paths, but I don't think they're helping. This isn't gonna get us. I'm sorry, but you gotta. F I oh, fuck. I gotta find a way. I want to fight those. <laughs> fuck them. A little, a little, just slightly busy, Mr. Owl. I'm dead set on figuring this out. Now we're on this. No way, that's not what I wanted to happen at all. Are you kidding me? No way, I thought that was gonna get us all the way across. This brings us back here. Oh, dude. I wish the mushrooms gave a clear explanation of where you were going, because I literally thought, oh, that's going to carry me across to this other side that I'm trying to get to. Oh, that's some big bullshit. Oh. I've, that's such, so trolly. Ugh. Disgusting. Actually. Horrid. No, owl. No. I'm gonna get mad at Mr. Owl. What do you smell? This is why this game has been taking me so long. Getting bamboozled by mushrooms. All right, there's gotta be a different mushroom than that one, right? Or is it this path? I'm looking respectfully. <laughs> Clearly, I just have no idea what to do. Can, oh my god, my friends are in my way. There's all kinds of problems. All right, I know I'm willingly going down this one. Oh, see, there's a mushroom there on this one. <sighs> Actually getting, all right. Now I think we might be on the road. If I go up. These weird stairs. Oh, come on. Come on, Chocobo. Here we go. I'm here.
life in Gengaga. The village of Gengaga lies at the heart of the humid jungle. Humid jungle. Remaining species of moss, fern, and mushroom thrive. These people have a long tradition of self-sustenance, growing only enough produce and rising, raising only enough livestock to support their collective. Though the village is by no means commercially enterprising, the Gagaga mushroom ep uh, endemic to the region of known for its rich aroma commands a high price. Gagaga's fortunes took a turn for the worse for an explosion at the nearby Mako reactor. Though much of the jungle was temporarily declared disaster area, due to its elevated position, the village itself escaped the worst of the fallout. Small mercy considering the devastation wrought below. Well. Wow. Now, mushroom jumping time. I don't want to jump on that mushroom. That seems like a trap mushroom. Very bad. Don't get... Don't want to jump on that one either. I don't think. Choose your mushroom wisely. I need to get to that side. Wasn't there another one? that backwards am I just not supposed to get over here does this is this plane gonna take me like over here but that's gonna be what we find out and I'm gonna be very pissed that I am being this dumb about it no don't fall off oh did you see that oh There's... I'm not trusting. So I totally thought coming over here would make us able to boop on over. Unless it's like here. Through here? This doesn't look like an enderable thing. Is it all. Yeah, don't jump. No, I said don't jump on that. No! I literally was walking backwards. No, I said don't jump on that. Oh my god. Oh, this is insane. Oh no, I'm gonna kill myself. Ah, oh, fuck. Dude, no way. I didn't want to, it magnetized to that fucking. Actual killer. Bruv. I just, I need to find the answer now because I've spent so much time fucking looking for this. You know what I mean? Now I'm like, ooh, I gotta do this. Cosmo Canyon. Is this, that's where he's taking us, right? That was the whole thing. And so like Cosmo Canyon is, is this Cosmo Canyon then? be so I'm just delaying things for no good reason <sighs> I'm giving up wow well, I wasted so much time dude Find a way in. Enjoy your stay with us. Shut up, Chadley. It's, 
It's break time. Uh, hello. How are you doing? All right, so we can take these two. Wait, what? Where is that? What do you mean? Which batch? I see, I see a badge on my end. You mean the sub badge? Cause you definitely have it on my screen. You're freaking out over nothing. All right, teach me great warrior. I'm looking for someone to teach me the ways of the warrior to help me reach my full potential. No matter the suffering, no matter the sacrifice, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Youth coalition rookie. Sure. And then, oh chicken, where art thou? You wouldn't believe the state of my chicken coop. Poked full of fresh holes because of that black stuff from the reactor. Some were big enough for my little deers to wriggle through and run off. And now I'm scrambling to track them down before some beastie gets to them first. Oh, if only a kind soul would come and lend me a hand. Chickens? <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. It's been, uh, it was a long week and all, but uh, not, not too bad. All right, so finding ladies chickens. Something about chickens. All right, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. She said, you said I'll power through. Did not power through. Ah, rough, rough one. Hopefully the weekend's easier for you. I gotta go over here. What is this? What's happening over here? Alright, finding my way out of this should be easy. Where's up to house? Up to house button. No. Oh. <laughs> Didn't even make it through. Understandable. At least it wasn't the, the super longest of streams. I was hitting the wrong button to pack that up. Hey, play arts buggy. Hey, now that we know that those do a thing, or they, they're stored somewhere, makes finding those a lot nicer. Out of my way. I think I know. We gotta go up here. Is this, is this up? Upable? It was. Someone lives all the way out here. In this wee hut. <laughs> Talk about rustic. Then again. Rustic. I like Rusticated. Uh, it's not without its charm, is it? In fact, this could be a whole new string to the Shinra Resort's bow, eh? The rural getaway. Cast off modernity and embrace eternity. You'd be surprised how many people would go for it. Could be a nice little earner. Damn it. Not again. After all that time and effort. Is it the design? Ugh. Not making any progress. No, get off. God, this jungle is so crowded. Just walking around and noxious. What's wrong with you? Why would you try that? I'm just gonna take this guy's shit. I've broken have in. <sighs> that arm, that magnificent arm. Uh, it is a weapon, but how does it work? <sighs> a universal adapter, allowing you to switch out weapons at will. But look at all these scratches. 
Wait, Maybe Bear's just a large, large man. Things with your attachments? Uh, occasionally. Doing so ought to have given you multiple bone fractures. But this unique cylinder provides unparalleled shock absorption, allowing for high impact performance. Who was the genius that built this? <laughs> An old friend, I guess. Don't know where he's at now, though. Uh, wait right there. <laughs> Eureka! The... <laughs> Sorry, got carried away. My name's Izo. I've been trying to create the ultimate weapon, but my attempts have all failed miserably. But thanks to you, I finally made a breakthrough. I must harness the inspiration while I can. Please, help me build it. Gather the materials I need. Oh boy. You live I'm like this? From Junon, but I could hardly breathe there, so I decided to leave it all behind. I wandered in search of somewhere I could build my weapons in peace, and eventually I wound up here. Not a bad place, huh? Of course, materials can be hard to come by when you live out here in the sticks. Though it seems crude at a glance, look close. The craftsmanship is remarkable. Whoever made it must have been a specialist in a completely different field. No mere weaponsmith would have been half as clever. Indeed, I've made it my life. Does he mean Ultima weapon? Though it's been. How to conceive or just weapon, an I ultimate weapon? To describe. Very important. Well, if all you need is some material, sure. Why not? Just leave it to us. Wonderful. Thank you. I believe I left a map in my storage shed that you can use to find what I need. Grab that before you head out, and you shouldn't have any trouble. A storage shed. Gotta say, never seen someone so interested in my arms. Most folks try their best to look the other way. He's a weird one. That's putting it mildly. This shed? Made me realize too how soft I've gotten. Cause in the old days, I would have said no touching and decked his ass. In the old days? If it ain't the present, it's the past, son. No, this is not the shed. His shed is way out here. Oh, I see. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting to try to get access to a different shed. How many sheds does this man have? I would say once you have, honestly, it, as a person, I think once you have more than one shed, it's too much. Open the map Izzo is provided with that and press L1 to take close look. Follow directions as best you can to find the necessary draconite ore. Must be the map Izzo was talking about. I don't know what else it be. Well, let's see where it takes us. I think like you have more than one shed, it's unwieldy at that point. Wait, this is what I get to look at? Oh boy. View next note. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, all right, is that on? Okay, here we go. So we're looking at this side. And it's around. Is this one thing? These gotta be steps, right? This is like steps for. For a second, I'm thinking, oh, there's five. If there, I was like, oh, there's five things we have to pick up. But I think we're. Um. Okay. I have no idea what that arrow is. <laughs> Does that mean around this? 
or around this. Back towards this house. Or around the whole thing. Vicinity. I'm gonna say... Oh man, this is me. What am I doing? What am I looking at? What, what is this guy got me doing? What is that then? Oh god, it's so bad. I, the picture is bad. This man took bad pictures. What was this guy thinking? Oh boy. Let's assume, let's assume first that it did mean go up and around the whole thing. Because I think I'm... Wait, is it this? Is this this? Oh, this has got to be this. Okay. Nope, we're back on track. We're so back. Okay. So take a left here. I'd assume go like there. Oh, yes. Don't fight the enemies. Oh, fuck. I'm fighting the enemies. Alright, so big... Big circle thing... Go around this. Around? And then what? Look at this. Probably see this. Is that that? Take a left? Oh, God. Is that that? Yeah, it's gotta be. Take a left? Does it matter what angle I'm looking at, maybe? It definitely matters what angle I'm looking at. I mean, I came in from this. Uh, in this picture, it looks like there's those in the background. I'm going to say it's this. And then... Big tree. Just so get up there. <laughs> Is this the place we're looking for? Hey, helpful. Oh, unhelpful. <laughs> Thought I had to scan these. Avian creatures that nest in forested regions, they boast electrified wings, gathering ions from the atmosphere, flying to call down lightning, exploiting their elemental weakness, or inflicting enough damage during ionic charge will pressure them. Weak to wind. Great. Don't overdo it. There we go. <laughs> I am on fire today. I've been pretty rough for me, I know. But you've always come through for me. Thanks, buddy. I love my gun arm. Alright, it faced me towards the rope. I think I gotta climb the rope.
Oh, gather eight. Okay. Oh, it's the these blue things. Oh fuck, wasn't there blue things? I was like, oh shit, if it's <laughs> if it's the blue things, then uh, yeah. Here's a lot, a big deposit of them. Nice, nice, nice. Am I gonna get a dope weapon out of this? For Barrett, perhaps. All right, that's six. Is there more deeper in here? Mm. Hold up. Is that everything? It is. There it is. Back and check in with these up. Ease of fast travel by any chance. Oh, can I grab extra? No. You cannot. Cool weapon, cool weapon, cool weapon. Give me a cool weapon. What does this do? That map will lead you straight to where you can find my materials. Oh, but do keep an eye out for monsters. Oh, thanks for the heads up. Excellent. It's all here. Oh, I gave him the key to. Wait here while I finish up. Gotta watch him hammer one out here. I get that it's your profession, but do you actually enjoy this? Making weapons? Of course I enjoy it. That's why I chose this job. Besides, it's the wielder who dictates the true value of a tool. Weapons, too. Aye, that's especially true for weapons. What a, what a based weapons maker. As the kids would say. Oh, we do get a weapon. Nice. I've done it. Feast your eyes on my masterpiece. My gift to you. I insist. I may not be the gentlest owner, you know. <laughs> User as you like. The wielder dictates the value of the tool, remember? And by association, the value of the maker. Therefore, what good I put out into the world depends on who I entrust with my weapons. That's how I choose to see my part in it all. Huh. Hell of a lot of pressure huh. to put on some guy you just met, don't you think? The adapter that your friend made. It's a gift in more ways than you know. He was thinking of your future, of what you might do after the dust settles. Today, you may have no choice but to wield a weapon. But tomorrow, years from now, think about it if you haven't. The man who fashioned your adapter is an inspiration in his own right. And that's no lie. Hmm. Hmm. I like the spiky <laughs> parts on it. Maybe one day Fafnir. You'll turn your arm into a giant egg beater. I'll make it so you can whip up a cake to serve a hundred. <laughs> Weird time to be joking around, man. <laughs> Not joking in the least. That's the price for my masterpiece. You owe me a cake. I will force you to make a cake with a, a so whip arm. With a new weapon, it's more likely than you think. 
an ostentatious firearm crafted by a reclusive weaponsmith. Consume all ATB charges to deliver a close range attack and send enemies flying. Point blank. Bam. Finish off an enemy for a perfect bonus. Does get another slot, which is nice. Hmm. Item economizer, perhaps, again? Could be big, especially trying to level it up. It can't hurt. Enhanced overcharge. Uh. New weapon for Barrett. I think I should do the chicken thing next. Actually, no. Well, actually, yes. I can't set my mind. Yeah, I want to do that. Find this lady's chicken. Reminds me of like a task you would do in like a Zelda game. Gotta find the, the Kukos, or whatever the fuck they're called in Zelda. Kukos. But she did not say care that she said no. I'll admit my shack's never been in the best condition, but look at it. Holes everywhere. Holes so big that would you believe it? All my chickens flew the coop. I mean, I plugged up the holes, but beyond that, I sounds like a you problem. Let me tell you, laughing and running around like crazy. How's an old woman like me supposed to catch them all? I can't keep up with a flock of chickens. Oh, it's terrible. All but these two got away. Pee Pee and Peep are so Pee -pee? busy going. They stayed right Excuse me? here with me without any urging. But Pippily and Pippity and Pippy and Peep, well, they didn't hesitate. Took off like lightning. We don't usually see anything like that around these parts. From that black stuff to those bizarre... I'm, I'm rescuing these chickens, but I'm not going to get them back to this lady who named them dumb names. She doesn't get them back. Quiet was the only good thing about this place. <laughs> so we just need to catch your chickens, right? Oh, thank you, dearie. <laughs> Oh my god. I love the sound of this here clanger. Use it and they'll come out from wherever they're hiding and follow you right back to the coop. My nose should serve us well here. Just hand me a right. Take it away. Noisemaker. <laughs> Three of them are still in the village. We should start by searching the surrounding area. Press that to use the feed clanger to lure the missing chickens back to Kazra. Oh my god. Slowly move backwards as you pull the clanger along. If a chicken gets too close, press L2 to yank it back out of the bird's reach. Oh, we got straight up, in like, luring chickens. Is it those chickens? Right there? The ones that are, like, these? Or are these someone's chickens? I can't tell. Are these not the chi- I, I, something tells me these are not the chickens. This is absurd. 
The sim <laughs> Fine, different chicken. There. Here we go. What? Got away. Oh my god. So, if the chicken touches it, then I'm screwed. This is, this is silly. All right, come on, chicken. Oh, that was close. I had to yank. Oh, I was looking at the my back. Is she just watching? She's not doing to fucking do anything. Oh. I was looking where I'm heading backwards because I was like, oh, I've got to make it my way. Like, how do I look backwards as well? This is too difficult of a task for me. Cloud can kill a bunch of things. I pressed the wrong button. I meant to press L2. Why is it... Why would the chicken lose interest if I... If it touches it? If anything, it would have more interest, wouldn't it? Like, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be like, oh, where's my logic in my video games? But come on. Here we go. Alright, I'm just gonna look at the arrow thing behind. I assume I can't just pull him too far back, though. Wait, just here? I hate this lady. I see two chickens right there. Is it, uh, how do we know which one? <laughs> near the cow if the chicken gets distracted stop moving wait for it to focus on the clanger once more great chicken is in my way no oh. back to square one shut up red The chickens got, or the cows got in the way, honestly. That chicken's trying to be super sly about this. Which direction am I going? I'm trying to. This is. <laughs> this is minigame. Oh, fuck. Better not be someone walking up behind me. <gasps> no! What I pressed it just a little too late. Come on, everybody. No. no chicken, chicken, come on. No, chicken. Come on, pull him back. I I want to kill this chicken. My, my, what a trick you must have made to get here. This lady's trying to sabotage it all. Where am I walking? Oh my god. Welcome home, my baby dearest. This lady better be paying me a million gil. I can't see who's lying here. Red or those bugs. Hey, I'm not a real cat. When the chicken is about to charge the f feed clanger, press L2 to yank it back just in time. Continue to string the bird along. Wait, it charges? What? So what are you then? I'm Kate Seth. What 
Chintella extraordinaire. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I can make me time to top up the old batteries. No, I didn't mean to. <sighs> Do be careful. Go back, go back, go back, go back. chicken crazy this guy is in the way this is the gyc reminding you to stay away from monsters no i fuck the, the chicken that's unfair Lady, this should be close enough. I don't think these chickens want to be with her. I think there was a message being delivered. She just was not understanding. Pippily ran off toward the airfield. We must find her before the fiends do. We must find her. Near the airfield? Oh, I think I have to follow Red. He's gonna show me where. Somewhere in the vicinity. Allow me to lead the way. That's a long way back to town. Careful. Really? Do I really? I can't just. I thought the game was gonna give us a cheat where we could like pick up, like just pick up the chicken somehow. We have to go so far. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to. It's like too clever.
give up. Damn. I got your breather. Navy and creature covered in scales as opposed to feathers of those enforced regions. Acting as a guardian that keeps intruders at bay. Grows pressured over time while storing electric charge. Once fully charged, it'll counterattack. A stun attack, staggering will remove the charge. Need my help, do you? Oh, maybe the chicken will just come with us willingly. Is he talking to the chicken? That doesn't make sense. I refuse to believe. Hey. You needn't worry. Their newfound fear of the outside world. Ah, perfect. With all haste. You speak chicken? More or less. They were quite <laughs> eager to return to the village. Kazra must take excellent care of them. We should go too. If anyone I want, like, our, uh, I want, like, catch she to, like, talk to the chickens. Because it would be, like, Meowth with Team Rocket being able to talk to all the different Pokemon. And then translate. You're better off heading to the airstrip by Chocobo. Okay. Where's my bed again? There it is. No, I hit the. I hit the. I hit, uh, wrong thing. Lighting on her character model kind of is not doing her justice. <laughs> it's kind of kind of rough on the character model, on the polygons. Where is this lady? Is she back up? Back here. Cluck cluck. Pleased to be reunited with you in this place they call home. So untrue. Thank Chickens are not thinking that ever. And chasing them really works up the appetite. <laughs> so allow me to whip you up some of Grandma Kazra's famous grilled chicken. What? Say good night, Pippily. <gasps> What the fuck? Oh. I 
and they just ate him. They could have lived long and happy lives running free if I hadn't. Well, we all had to eat. <laughs> oh, what a weird mission that was. What the hell is going on? All right. Well, <laughs> it's good. No, it's good. This is great. The build up to that was, was something. Are they above me and I just oh okay. god. But I don't wanna where are the where's this pointer pointing me to? What the uh... Youth Coalition, I hear them. Oh I hear I see them. I get up there. It, this jungle terrain is very very hard to navigate with its different elevations and all. Cloud, you can do it. I've seen you make bigger jumps. Come on! Cloud! Cloud! Zack. He's a friend of mine. We grew up together, hung out and stuff. I haven't heard from him since he left the village, though. Uh oh. But I'm sure a soldier like him's pretty busy. We may not be at war, but I bet they've got him traveling all over. To protect the village, of course. We're seeing more monsters these days, and I want to do my part. And, you know, it might also be kind of cool if everyone in the coalition called me a hero and the captain gave me a promotion. Or something like that. Wait, why can I? No can do. Sorry, no can do. We're just passing through. Please, I'm begging you. Wait. Me? I knew as soon as I saw your throwing star. From the moment I laid eyes on you and your weapon, I just had to make you my teacher. Please, train me in your warrior ways. Oh, I don't know. Well, since you're such a huge fan, one or two orbs might be enough compensation for my time. You sure you're up for the challenge? Of course! I'll do anything! <laughs> Sweet music to my ears. Okay, new disciple, meet me over there when you're ready. For pain! Don't worry. I am more than ready to receive your wisdom. Hey! Come along, see what you can learn, my second disciple. <laughs> <laughs> Go, little boy. First and foremost, a ninja must have stamina. 
So let's see how much you've already got, shall we? After all, a ninja warrior must be able to make a tactical retreat back to her comrades when they need her. Understood, Master. Very well. Then with that, let our training begin. Yeah, we got the, the ninja priorities off. I hope you're staying focused, my young disciple. Halt, fiend! Please, teach me your ways, Master. How do I get him to hit them? Come on, hit him. Hit him, Setsu, so Tetsu, whatever your name is. Run cycle. Like the a dork. Ones. Can't see the ninjas or the trees. Now, strike swift and true. Show me how it's done. <laughs> Easy. No worries. Okay, let's keep up the pace. A positive so far. This is only your first step on the long and winding road to ninja hood. Whoa. <laughs> Just zoop to that. Rope ladder very quickly. You crossed paths with the wrong ninja. I'll make you proud. Stagger enemies twice. I knew that was coming too, damn.
Teamwork. Great teamwork. Mysterious as the dark side of the moon. That's what the song that's playing in my head is. I'm training this young boy. Oh, that Mulan song stuck in my head. We, we made it. <sighs> I hope you've got more in you, cause that ain't gonna cut it. Right. I'm gonna take a quick look around. You rest up for the next round. It is nice. It is nice, and that's me saying it, where I'm not like, I don't, you know, generally find Disney songs that great, out of context especially. Called it his secret gym. Of course, it wasn't much of a secret since everyone knew about it. But it sounded cool. Hard to live up to the legacy of a guy like that. Check this out. It was his favorite Yeah, the squats. Her strength. A body a mind start by training you're behind <laughs> not like that gotta go deeper bend your knees more this is how you thrust your glutes in your quads got it and that's how real man squats yeah God, such a bummer Cloud can't remember Zack right now. I can learn that from him. Great! You people, the hell are you doing? Oh, right before disaster. Herbivores that roam forested regions, something has altered their hormones to the extent that they now sweat a strange black liquid. They're extremely aggressive, mercilessly trampling anything that draws near. Exploding elemental weakness will draw their ire. After some time passes, they will begin to rest. Inflicting enough damage while they are resting will pressure. Okay, weak to fire. Oh boy, that was close. Take the lead. All right, watch and learn. Fire in one off. You got this. Take it over. Oh, Chief, I took some heads. Spraying on me. It's on now. There we go, that one down. Deal with that. I am pushed into a corner. Don't act so surprised to Tetsu. So Tetsu. Wait a sec. That's it. Tetsu. See you back at the village. 
Training a weirdo. <laughs> I don't want this guy counted among my ranks. So we just talked it over. And we'd like to ask you to train all of us in the art of combat. No, Our the planet is dying. We can't. Is weakest member. So it only makes sense to get stronger together. We're really just passing through. But you could rest here for a while. Hmm. Our services don't come cheap. It'll cost you a million <laughs> gil. <laughs> That's a pretty steep price, but we could probably manage. What? Oh, and he forgot to mention materia. Preferably the precious kind. That we can't do. <sighs> Look, Sotetsu, they may be good at their jobs, but don't you think they're asking a bit much? We're looking for training, not trouble. If you're looking for someone to train you, then look no further. Yeah, believe in Cisne. No money or materia required. Well, thanks, Cisne. That'd be great. But what about them? They're veterans of the battlefield and under their tutelage. What? My tutelage not good enough? In case you've forgotten, I've seen my fair share of action. If all of you are serious about upping your game, I'll help you out. In fact, I've been meaning to offer for a while now. Seeing as we're here, well... Sounds good to me. Me too. Well, I thought it was a good idea. Sorry I wasn't able to convince the rest of them. It's just... I felt something when we first met. Almost like fate. And I guess I got a little carried away. Don't sweat it. Then that settles it. Listen up. There's no backing out now, so be warned. I won't go easy. Roger! Roger. Cloud! Yuffie! I know you've got to make a living and all. But you might want to consider lowering your rates. How can they're the ones who said they could make a million gill? Where's my materia? Three orbs or two? Two's good. Enough already. You're embarrassing yourself. Just one, dude. Mmm, bap bap. New quests are available? Damn. Oh, nice. Nice. Spice of Life by Cisne. Gungaga mushroom soup may seem like a simple dish to most people, but make it as harder than you'd expect. My attempts aren't coming together. The flavor's always just a little bit off. I don't know if, if something's missing or if I added one too many ingredients or what. Cisne? This must be one of Gungaga's famous mushrooms. <laughs> this must be one of Gungaga's famous mushrooms. My name is Snaps. I'll be right with you, Sisney. I'm gonna sleep in your bed real quick. Your feet. What am I gonna do? About Disaster you? in the kitchen. <gasps> wow, that's a smell. We should go <laughs> now. Wait, don't leave. Treat you guys to a bowl if you help with the ingredients. 
<laughs> the pumpkin put up a fight. The knife I've got wasn't long enough to chop it in one clean go. I had to get stabby. And that bulbous bastard. The onion. I mean, I had to close my eyes while I cut it. But that might have been a bad call. I feel ya. Ungaga mushroom soup. It smells pretty good all in all. Unfortunately, it's lacking in the flavor department. That's the problem. It needs something, but I'm not sure what. Maybe some more gungaga mushrooms. Maybe one of those chickens try. we helped rescue earlier. Or a hunk of cactuar meat. Let's not. Just throw one of those chickens what in there. You need? Hmm. Oh, right. Torgan's vegetables. That dog's probably parked near the village entrance, selling his produce. You mind swinging by and picking up some of this stuff for me? Got it. What a sweet boy you were for staying behind for me. You'll be good to Torgan now, you hear? Um. No, 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 come back. Did you just pay that dog money? Oh, him? That's Melon, Torgan's pup. He comes by from time to time to sell their farm's produce. We grow our own veggies here in town too, but the ones from Torgan's Field are especially delicious. Come on, let's go after him. Chase that dog. This music again. Bow wow wow, bow wow wow. Dog. Very appropriate dog chasing music. I got caught up to him. Today. Good? Hello. Not seen you before. Out of towners? Just visiting, yeah. So, could we buy some of your produce? Can't help you. Don't sell the out of town. Damn. Barely got enough for the locals. Anyway. Why the hell did Cisne send us out here then? Buy them Dutch you got <laughs> your city folk. <laughs> Set us up for failure. I about to sell the bounty of my soil to youngins who ain't never got down in the muck with me and mine. Now get. I don't know the first thing about farming, but I do know how happy these veggies are. Can practically hear them. <laughs> got an eye for the stuff, but you're telling me you got an ear too? What's this one saying? Something about how rich the soil is, how it can thrive and spread its roots deep, grow big and strong. I'll be. Oh, quit with the guilt tripping now, will ya? You know perfectly well I wouldn't gonna leave them high and dry. We ain't seeing any more customers today, I reckon. So whatever we got left over is yours for the taking. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. They finally learned to talk back. We're actually trying to make Gungaga mushroom soup. What do you think we should use? Any advice would be great. Hmm. At the risk of stating the obvious, you'll need some quality Gungaga mushrooms. Mush. Or better yet, some Maganga mushrooms. Maganga. Maganga. Better to rely on a chocobo. They're 
flavorful sucker, so three caps ought to more than suffice. Pick them one at a time, though, if you want to keep your bird from getting all addled. The aroma can be mighty You've heard of Gungaga powerful. mushrooms, now Mungaga. Be of the beasties, too. A lot of types are awful fond of the mushroom scent. Gotcha. Ah, and you can't forget the salt. Nothing brings out the flavor better than a sprinkling. Mungaga. mushrooms being what they are, you're gonna want to see. Oonga bunga. Proper kind of salt for it's got a color close to this. Alan, you get them where they need to go. Bow wow wow, bow wow wow. Take me. Love the the dog battle music. Oh, he's doggy battling. That's great. I always wonder what happens when the dog dies. I've never gotten close to having that be the case, but. Now remember the other dog we fought like this was named Salmon. So a melon and a salmon. We haven't gotten that. Y'all done did it now. Oh. A rare crown lance variant that is adapted to forest environments it floats near Mungaga mushrooms, feeding on the insects and small creatures drawn by Punk's fragrance. Exploding elemental weakness will pressure it. Fire it also can pressure when attempting to cast spells will silence. Cannot be attacked while flitting through the air, so patient. Take it from here. Yeah, I'll do it. I'm better off trying to kill these things first. Slowly towards them. I should Looks be. Looks like they're all slightly different colors. Let's see. 
Well, one of these auto match Torkin's picture. Review the sketch Torkin's provided with that and press L1 to take a closer look. So you got a deposit of a similar shape and color and mine the finest salt you can. Oh boy. Okay. What does this look like? It looks like it's it's pyramidal. Pyramidal? Pyramidal? It's pinkish. It, it looks like that Himalayan salt, honestly. Uh, if it's not this, then I stake my whole life's savings on it. Okay, that's pure good gaga salt, she said. Wait, so do I not gather this one? Those two? Does Melon tell me where the others are? No? <laughs> Just... Okay. Keep looking. Okay. Maybe up here. No. Up here? I'm I'm going high. Oh here we go. Here's another Yes. Yes. Tell me, Aerith. Across the bridge or no? Like that's it, right? Yeah. Yes. Only the best rock salt. Alright. I think we've got plenty of salt now. Next up are the Magunga mushrooms. Magunga. Torgan said we'll need a chocolate to sniff them out. Fast travel. Thank God. Navigating the forest, I've said this, is uh, not the funnest thing. With all of its rocks and non open worldiness, and uh, a bunch of elevation changes and all. Must be the area Torgan was talking about. Though we're gonna need a chocobo to search. Get those magugu mushrooms. Oh, is it right? Is it right in front of me? Oh, it wants me to jump. I'm an idiot. Mr. Owl, shut up. Behold, the Magunga mushroom. Note its mushroom-like quality. Magunga. Just gotta be very careful. Just love that word. Wait, a mushroom picking mini game? Holy shit! Okay, with mushroom durability meter. Oh boy. Plucking fungi requires not only a green thumb, but a delicate touch as well. This is silly. Test the pliability of each portion of the mushroom with L. Plus sick. The portion with the most give should be tugged first, and the portion with the least should be tugged last. Find the correct order to cleanly pluck the mushroom from the ground. Tug, cancel, and pluck. This is select directions.
All right, to me it look. Oh, this this zoom zoom in. All right, I think this has the most give. Then this, and then the well. This definitely. I'm looking at this mush. I think it's that, then this. Nice. Perfect. Okay, back to the birds. What a mini game. when I'm allowed to actually hit these things. Like, they always seem to be flying. Crazy mush. Crazy mushes. Cloud, professional mushroom picker. All right, let's see. Oh, we got, we're dealing with four sections this time. That's crazy. Okay, this is like no give. I think this is like third, so worst. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Pick that mushroom. One more to go. Let's use the chocobos to find the last mushroom. Jellies. Let's not 
jellies and mushrooms. Oh, five sections. Oh, the toughest. I think. So five. Five, four. Well, is this more give than that? This is definitely less. This is number five. But between this and this, what, what I mean, that's different angles. I don't know. I mean, my eyes. I think this is less give than this. These two are definitely the most. So I think it's five. Five, four, three. Now between this I'm not sure. Yeah! You got a in farming. Yeah, get those mushrooms. Cloud, yeah, fist pump. That should be it for the mushrooms. Yep. We love fun guy. Let's get this stuff to Cisne. get to the tower through here <gasps> oh that would be actually huge for me that would be so huge for me cloud jump down it's fine <laughs> i found my way through here How do I? I want in whatever that is. There we go. Oh, we got the little. Oh, we got the weird little acorn monsters. They're kind of creepy. No replicating. Oh my god. I'm not ready for it. This weird temple thing. Oh, come on. Climb. Oh, wait, that's not a climb thing. Oh. Oh, but then what? Okay, maybe we do climb. Climb this, swing over, maybe? Actually, 
because this is not feeling like the answer. Here's a weird temple thing, but... Where's the up point to this? Tree? Huh? What is the layout of this? Oh, we got a little guy. I lost track of the little guy. Oh, there he is. Chocobo. We were told the Chocobos can go on the vines or something, or limbs, or we never had to use it. Oh, it's like Tarzan. It's like Tarzan in Kingdom Hearts. We are on this. We are. We are swinging on vines and shit. No, 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 no. Get off. No. Horrid. What's red doing? Oh, I gotta go down. Duh. Tricky tower. Now we can give Cisna air. Well, I did kind of want to. Ah, we'll explore it later. That's the wrong thing. <laughs> Cisna needs her ingredients. shot i can pitch in too well since you guys went to the trouble okay. yeah harris is gonna shot. help the situation <laughs> put the knife down about what i expected don't eat it, Cloud. Huh. This might turn out okay. <laughs> Told you. The fairs are always inviting me over for dinner. Thought I'd be nice and return the favor by making them poison, apparently. <laughs> but as you can see, I'm a sore loser. Cooking's never as easy as you think. Got that right. Didn't need to learn back in Midgar. The company provided all our meals. Tasted like garbage, though. 
don't know how I stomach the stuff. That bad, huh? <laughs> but what about the bombberry flavor? <laughs> bombberry? What, like the military rations? Yeah, those. Uh, sorry, that's really not important. Uh, what is important is the soup. The soup. Time to taste test. <sighs> Whoa there. Might want to let it cool. Right. Oops. That's pretty good. Burn my mouth. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I just know the fairs are gonna love it. Great job. <laughs> Nice level ups. We love it. Is that all the quests then? Explore these weird ruin looking things. This place. Why is there a stop in the middle of the okay. cave? sec. Excuse me. Oh boy. We're in monster territory now. Monster territory. Mutant Grand Horn detected nearby. Commencing guidance protocol. The reactor disaster had a profound influence on the local ecosystem, including this particular breed. Prolonged exposure to Mako has reduced their impulse control. Unlike most Grand Horns, this variant lacks a sense of community, invading and upending territory belonging to others. The long-term effects of Mako poisoning on both flora and fauna are still not fully understood. But the world needs to know. I hope you'll assist me in the investigation. Pressure stagger defeat. Currently gathering combat data on target. Don't stop. 
now. You ain't gonna get away. Get her out. Oh, I guess I should probably assess before I forget. <laughs> I completely forgot, and then I was like, wait, maybe this would tell me. A bipedal creature found deep in the jungles of Gangaga, which was supposed to Mako from the Neuro Rectors, brought a, a bestial ferocity in it. Controls plants to restrain its prey. Product, uh, periodically restrains a target with earthbound, but these binds can be broken by staggering the creature. Okay. Attacking it twice while its guarding will cause a counterattack, although its guard will reflect range attacks, hitting it with powerful blows of pressure. Okay. Let me go! Here we go. Fuck it, I don't have a fire thing, but I do have a Molotov cocktail. Uh, when else am I gonna use these? It missed. It fucking missed. There we go. I, uh, man, did I get that at right, right at the right time there. Good job. Thanks to me. Don't you forget it, my... Must go deep within ruins.
getting close. Is I supposed to just take different stairs? Don't hold that. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay, so we were going the right way. Um, let me. Two, apparently. One, two, three, you got it. Jada. It's quite a trek for for this summon thing here. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Perfect. Cool job. I'm hoping we can do the thing. Let's get to that scenic spot. We can knock that out quickly here. I think. A lot of hope in here. Oh. So I'm merely not supposed to be on the chocobo. Sorry, I called you prematurely. Is that it? 
Gangaga Scenic Spot. Come on, guys, get in the photo. <laughs> they don't want to get in the photo with me. Get in the photo. I just like to think of Cloud being like, guys, come on, get in the photo. Cloud, the Earth is dying. Thank you for tracking down that spot. <coughs> Quite the view you captured. Great work getting that shot. You really are one shrewd shutterbug. To quote the association. Your talents are inimitable. Inimitable. You've got quite the portfolio now. Can't wait to see how it grows. Vogue photographer. Nice. Alright, so the third one's at like this weird waterway. Hmm. Probably should have marked it on my... <laughs> Looking good, if I do say so myself. No one asked you, so... Alright, so through here till we get to some water, I think, and then we go up the water. Long trek through water. Thought I saw something important there. gonna get Kujata. Who should I give Kujata? Several options. A big buffalo-like thing that has a bunch of access to different elements. We know we still have Alexander, or not Alexander, uh, the other one. What was the one we were working towards in... Oh, yeah, it was Alexander, okay. I got confused with the fucking... The, um... Uh, the Protorog thing. Different than the... The summon, so it was Alexander. So that's why I had it out of my brain. Uh, Kujata, Kujata, Kujata. Oh, this one's gonna be trick me up. Circle, X, circle, circle, square, circle, circle, X, circle, circle, square, circle, circle, X, circle, circle. Squared circle. Fuck. 
Oh, I was off by one. Actually, not bad. <laughs> not as bad as I thought I could have done that. Circle. X, circle, circle. Square, circle. From here, could I have gone over to these things? Hmm. Cases where I don't think I needed to get on the chocobo, but for some reason I keep thinking, I'm like, oh, yeah. Alright, so I can go through. I didn't pay enough attention to this little thing. Is this completely sealed off? is not immediately. Gotta be careful about starting to just jump on any mushrooms I see. I gotta make sure I'm jumping on the best mushrooms. The correct mushrooms. about a particularly rare monster. Deep in the forest lurks a fiend so foul. <clears throat> uh, pardon me. So foul. so foul, the mere mention of it induces nausea. This noxious pest may be negatively impacting the biome. I suggest you oh, not the biome.
We're actually not far from. I think I just went in a circle. Here we go. Wait, what? It's underground? It's underneath me. Gotta go down. Where's under? somewhere around here. Okay, there's two. Money. Out of the range there. Two. Outside range there. Ooh, is it gonna drive me insane, isn't it? Mmm. I thought I was... I think I was on top of ones over there. Oh, it looks like it's pretty good. Okay. Now to figure out where this marker is trying to get us to. Clearly, like, under. Under. And if it's under... I feel it wouldn't be here. It'd be back kind of like where that life spring thing was. 
We're not getting... I went in a little tunnel. Did nothing. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, maybe... Wait, there's stairs there. Wait, 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 wait. How do I get in this thing? How do I get in there? Uh... Oh, there's an open door. Oh my god. Cloud, wait a second. Security is still active, but I should be able to disable it remotely. One moment. This appears to be a Shinra training facility, one of several in the region. Out here in Gungaga? That's news to me. The official records were curated to remove all mention of them some time ago. They were last used by General Affairs Auditing. The Turks. I've created fake IDs for all of you. Now, shall we see what awaits us inside? Oh boy. Sung. Sung. As you well know, our duties often require that we enter into high-risk situations. Failure is tantamount to death. Even here, act as though your lives are on the line. Without further ado, I'll bring you on your mission. Calm's Bailey has been breached by armed insurgents, allowing hordes of fiends to overrun the town. Your military is on site. The enemy is utilizing the chaos to establish a foothold. Our mission is to pinpoint their leader's location and apprehend him as soon as possible. This exercise will begin as soon as you are ready. Good luck. They were faint at best, but I did pick up proto-relic readings during that mission briefing just now. Hmm. So, in other words? In other words? To secure it, you need only lay waste to have simulated enemies. I'm good at killing things. Complete VR missions at the Turks' various training facilities to extract the encrypted protected data contained within. Each mission will utilize your current party, so be sure your preparations are in order before initiating a simulation. I'm good with the team. Take me in. Be in sight. Attention all units. Really? Engage the monster threat. Mission one of three. by me. Can't even lie. Fire. 
Ow. Oh my god. Taking over. No, no. <laughs> no. I was like, well, if they've got unlimited MP. first for sure. Yeah, I did. I got him. Look at him. He's dead. Rude got him. Easy. <laughs> his home was stolen from him. There are many who hold grudges against the company, and it is our job to remove these seeds of trouble before they take root. This facility will Pissed. enter power saving mode. Once you have retrieved your provisions, proceed to the next location. I've made an incredible discovery. Proto-relic? While the image is still quite unstable, the implication is staggering. The proto-relic has been digitized and stored within the simulation. Can we get it out? Without more data, I can't say for certain. Let's head to the next facility. I'll continue my analysis there. Definitely, Chadley. Shinra is bad. A lot of them are actually good people. You call them good people. Well, I call them enablers. They're why Shinra keeps getting away with it. I mean, I see where you're coming from. You do, huh? Glad I could be of service.
Okay, Let, I'm gonna go get some water and stuff. I will be right back. I'm gonna be, yeah, I'm gonna have three or four minutes. Throw up a BRB. Uh, I mean, Proud of stuff. Interesting, we can, plus we can zoop there pretty quickly. Fast travel wise, I think so. All right, I'll be right back. Trying this sparkling water, trying to sip on something with just a little bit of flavor than just water. I'm pretty good at just drinking water during stream, but I'm 
seeing if this is just barely carbonated. I'm heading the wrong way. And flavoring is a better sub for me. All right, let's go through here. Doom, <laughs> right in the water. Stuck on this. Hmm. Hmm. Mush. Go down in there. Uh, see, this is the problem we run into the jungle. This, uh, Gangaga open area is probably gonna be my, go down as my least favorite open area in this game. Okay. We're fine. Arrival and objective confirmed. I've disabled the security system. You may use your fake IDs to enter the facility. Song. In your previous mission, you repelled an insurgent attack and captured the enemy's leader. As a Turk in the field, you must be capable of assessing a situation and making sound judgments. Now then, what should be done with him? Uh, uh, let him go. Let's see. Well, there can be strategic advantages to releasing criminals. D darn, in I tried. Instance, the risks outweigh the benefits. Considering what we know of the situation, it seems unlikely that the insurgent's ultimate objective was the town's occupation. Which leaves us with some questions. Ones only our detainee can answer. Oh. What? Why? I'll spare you the details. A productive interrogation revealed to us the truth. The attack on Paul was only intended to be a diversion. One which drew us away from their real target, Junon's weapon system. Suffice it to say, their plan worked. Consequently, they have seized control of our autonomous sentry unit. Your mission is to neutralize the mechanical threat. Best of luck to you out there. So their mechs were hijacked and turned against them? Sucks to be them. It is a core tenet of Turk's doctrine that one must anticipate and prepare for every contingency. Yeah, they're never caught flat-footed, that's for sure. Initiating training mission. 
take me into the mission. Only slightly, slightly let down that these ones are just like training simulator kind of things. The previous proto relic missions had been kind of funny, or more, not funny, uh, but like more well thought out, you know. They were varied. They had us doing interesting things, you know. Weak to fire and wind. Turks two step, yeah, definitely. Only to like freaking wind. You're up. I got this. Um. Too many meal again. Done. Let's make it hot. Watch yourself. Hang back. Let's do the job. Deal with that. All right. No thanks. The last of us. The last of them. Oh, we to Job. Easy. Well, you certainly showed them. Hey, tell you what, I'll report back to Summer. You and Rude should take the night off. You deserve it. <laughs> Mission complete. Well done, trainee. I expect more of the same. The company's armed forces are, without question, the world's greatest military power. However, our superior strength could well prove our undoing if our enemies succeeded in turning assets against us. We must deny them the opportunity, and if we fail, we must rectify the situation. This facility will enter power-saving mode. Once you have retrieved your provisions, proceed to the next location. Excellent work. My analysis is progressing smoothly, but I fear I require more data to arrive at a conclusion. What? We're still not done yet? <laughs> Just a little more. What? 
Aua! to be able to do anything, right? Why do they need more than one? Previously, each unit had a facility reserved for them alone. Use one at a time, and in order. <laughs> we didn't even get to hear all the things. <laughs> that was really weird. It got, it like, weirdly cut itself off. Strange. Was that other one? Where the hell? Oh, it's like way up there. Oh, I so far up. I didn't even think it was like I was like not even thinking of this being considered the Gaga region still. The old shack that I was like, there's nothing here. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember we did come here and I was like, what are these mushrooms for? Thanks, virtual song. You'll be my bodyguards. Not that I have need of any, but no matter how much I protest, this one never listens. Hostile forces have infiltrated Junon and disguised themselves as allies. You must take care to desert friend from foe and ensure no harm comes to the president while waiting for helicopter extraction. Make us proud, Trinity. Easy. Oh, can I be a bad guy? Shall we? Sure. Just watch who you're shooting, okay? Vanguards advancing on your position. Be ready to intercept. Okay. Come on. Decimate him.
No chance. <laughs> You're alive. And none the worse for wear. This way, Mr. President. Right. That was quite an exhilarating experience. Thanks for the company. <laughs> Even in VR, he's smug. Our president is the heart of the company. He cannot or be AR. Replaced. It is vital that we keep him from harm, even if it costs us our lives. Keep that in mind on future missions. This facility will enter power saving mode. Once you have retrieved your provisions, proceed to the next location. everything I need to restore the data. All right, then. Let's do it to it. The sooner we finish this thing, the sooner we can show them what we're really capable of. The intel meter is quickly rising. So, hmm. <laughs> is that connected through here? Kind of seems like it doesn't. Should be quick to check. Like that totally could be it. Well, the door just open. Huh? Open. Totally for a sec thought. Uh I mean if it doesn't come in through here then it would be like up. I don't know how much I trust that. Uh what would be the point? This definitely looks like something.
Oh, did I see what was on the other side of this? Oh. I don't think I, I, I mean, I registered that this was here, but I didn't think, oh, it's gonna be, yeah. Well, now we know. This might be just where it connects to that thing that was on the opposite side of Yep. There you go, Sid. I connected your landing strip to this area. I don't know why he would want it, but he can go exploring. Unfortunately, we can't finish the prorog thing because the whole last spin area is not finished. Hey, what gives? Your final mission is to snuff out the rogue pair that betrayed our organization. What? Two former Turks, Rudy and Elena, have kidnapped the president whom they were tasked to protect. Traitors are to be afforded no mercy. Their lives are forfeit. Kill them and now. The two of them know Turk's policy and will fight to the death. Kill or be killed. These are the only possible outcomes of any confrontation. Here's hoping you survive. Sounds so dramatic, Song. But aren't they friends? How can they go from BFFs to shoot to kill just like that? Probably got to be pretty ruthless to make it as a turk. All right, just gotta fight them. Wind, electricity. You might think I don't remember how much you've got to do something that I never forget. Good thing, too. Don't want to be a couple of pushovers. Fuck on me! Hey, partner. Don't be a fool. Open your eyes. The company forces us to do their dirty work. But what do we get in return? All Shinra has to offer us is exhaustion. The one-way ticket to the life free. To them, we're cool to be used and used. They're sucking the life out of us. Oh, you want some of this? Come get it. Hang back. Come on. Come on, guys. Why don't we just talk I'm getting. Yeah. 
hitting him multiple while his guard is up. You understand. Rama, Titan. Ah. Uh. Have fun. I trust the old man. Rama! Mission complete. Well done. You've proven yourselves to be born Turks. Wow, what an honor. We Turks fight as one, but our duty may require us to sever our binding ties. Which is precisely why. Who's there? Confirming personnel data. Huh? ID GAI 153. Affiliation General Affairs Auditing. Uh. Turks. Uh. <laughs> Certainly didn't expect to run into you here. 
took the words right out of my mouth. What in the hell are you doing here? Shinra sent me to inspect the facilities. Wanted to make sure they didn't have any unauthorized visitors wandering around. It's a kind of nice reveal for them to learn. GAI-153? Records indicate the individual with that ID underwent formal training. Wait, are you a Turk? Uh, that'll be enough probing. For my benefit, but mainly for yours. Get out of here, Chadley. It was enough of a pain to cover up the mess you made at the reactor. Try not to cause any more trouble, okay? Sorry, won't happen again. Anyway, I'm heading back to the village. Once you're done here, I suggest you make tracks. There's definitely more to her than meets the eye. Hello? You good? Hey, Chadley. What happened to the proto relic? Oh, forget me. Chadley. Focus. And there. Incredible. It appears that by restoring the fragmented data, we were able to break the proto relic's encryption. Uh, translation? The potential applications are practically limitless. By converting matter into data distributed across a secure network, shielded from external interference, one could preserve said data indefinitely. So is it real? Like, can I touch it? Oh, of course. Behold, the proto relic in its restored glory. Returns. Beneath the moonlight, in victory shall I revel. My Genji! Chadley? What? <laughs> None other. After analyzing the phenomena associated with your sudden disappearance, I was able to devise a way in which to join you virtually. Surely. Ah, no matter. Be gone, foul conjurer, or I shall make this place your grave. This is a good rendition of Battle to Big Bridge. Oh my. Thing. This is simply fascinating. <laughs> I'm Chadley. Hmm? You must tell me about yourself and about this place. You dare demand answers of me? Madness. Chadley, you okay? I believe so, yes. Tell me I didn't dream that shit. Correct. That was no dream, Cloud. You and I were there, together. Wherever there was, that is. I presume it was another dimension. Nothing's ever simple. <laughs> I sense exasperation. I, however, am emboldened to solve this mystery. I only hope that you will assist me in my quest for answers. Perfect. 
Trying to be the best way to get down. Some chocobo, but which one? Just pick one and hope for the best. I had to get up there, didn't I? Yeah, I think I picked wrong. Fuck. It's okay. I think. Depends on how easy it is to get back up. Totally leveled up Barrett's attack thing, right? No? God, I, I use that attack on well, it's one stretch like a shit ton, I thought. Chocobo problems. There we go. We're in dangerous territory then. Rare Grand Horn variant detected. Commencing guidance protocol. Generally speaking, Grand Horns are peaceful creatures, which use their claws not for combat, but for unearthing insects to eat. During mating season, they pair off to build nests and raise their young. Those unable to find partners eventually take up the role of protector, guarding the nests of others and keeping the newborns from harm. Their crimson coloration is a warning to all would-be trespassers. Keep out. The social structure of Grand Horn communities is definitely worthy of further investigation. Scanning and meeting its surroundings. Hang on. I got you now. Rare Grand Horn variant that grew skilled in battle in order to protect its community. Look what its creature and its claws dulls its enemies' movements, attacking it twice while its guard and claws counterattack. Being a powerful weapons of those guarding or counterattack will pressure it. And rage attacks are effective while it's counterattacking. Need a breather. How did it say to pressure attacking twice while guarding? Hmm. Need 
I'm not gonna have pressure to have to redo the fight. Oh my, shut up. I gotta get him to guard and then hit with strong. That was a very impressive showing. So impressive, in fact, that I was able to devise a new combat trial for you. And I was in charge of calibrating its difficulty level. We put a lot of thought into this, so give it a try. I get pressure or guard. No. Oh, I I let go. Oh no, I I meant to stop attacking. Ugh. my couple of things over there mm. Turning in the right area. Nate, 
I'd lost earlier. Wait a second. I like overshot where I was trying to get to. Ambush. Okay, rare Gaji Gaji Gandhi. Whatever she said, a variant set that hatched nearby the Gengaga reactor. Going to maturity a pre natural state. Are uh, possessed with strength. And are possessed, yeah, possessed with strength. Far superior to that of the average Gaji Gandhi. Weak to ice. That's not what I meant to do at all. should do self-destruct just to see what happens, right? For, uh... Wow, he actually... I kind of thought there would be, like, a countdown to it or something. To the explosion. But it is just... Massively explode. One self. Sadly. So much HP that 1500 does not move the needle at all from a mega potion. Was it water through here, perhaps? I think that's actually what it might be.
after a while, I must say. Make anything with all the shit I've picked up. I feel like I've picked up enough shit. I don't think anything new. Ding. Ding, he says. Planet's Mercy. First generation Mako reactors, based on the one built in Nibel, Nibel, are prone to malfunction due to flaws in the pressurization system's design. This, however, did not deter, sh deter Shinra from installing them at various locations throughout the world, including Gengaga. The company's failure to follow their own inspection maintenance procedures led to a disastrous explosion which claimed the lives of many villagers. Acknowledging its part in the incident, Shinra dedicated a moment to the victims. This incident was not an isolated occurrence, though as at least one other reactor is known to have exploded in a similar fashion. Stranger yet, Shinra has been investigating alleged sightings of gigantic life forms known as weapons near the remains of those destroyed Mako reactors. Hmm. 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 Couple combat areas. How am I going to get there? Out circling you as you're climbing something. I was there before. Bah, God. Okay, it's fine because I can just uh actually I think maybe coming here and backtracking might be slightly better. If 
I knew how to get down. I don't have my choke bow. Yeah. Uh, 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 how is one getting down? This might not have been the place to fast travel to. <laughs> I regret. Different entry point. I don't know which way to go. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. So up. Why did I not see? And then this way across. There we go. Uh, yeah, all the way. Oh, I found a new <laughs> cache location. Unintentional. Ooh. Did I find the second? The luck my ability to focus is the dwindling weight. Is it right there? Oh. Okay, so this is all well and good, but. way to get to ruins.
Every time I go to dig, I always like just hit a a plethora of buttons. I'm just constantly like hammering everything. I'm like, what is? it up. <sighs> I climb up this thing. Uh. Trapped. One more. Uh, don't leave the area. There's just uh, dangerous species, another fiend, and then and an excavation. I think that's all the side things on this area. Then of course we do the Chadley missions. But uh, we did we did work tonight. to heal up a bit here. Oh, it's gorgeous.
These grotesque fiends live in Gungaga's jungles and boast countless tentacles springing from their heads. From their giant maws, they spew curse of liquid in the most uh, acrid of breath. A seared? Earthed. Of breath. Uh, Explosion of Maka has made them. I mean, I know it means most acidic of breath, but. River. Uh, Explosion of Mako has made them bigger, uglier, and stinkier. Shattering their mouth will make them suppose staggering. Prevent them from using bad breath. If left unchecked, bad breath will steadily increase potency. Its mouth will regenerate after a certain amount of time. Weak to ice. got like an AOE kind of thing going on. Beating him, did I get a new materia? Wasn't that? Wouldn't it be steel? Wouldn't it be more? boost another level boost maybe ah whatever <laughs> not too worried oh did when did oh the others got like third slots I could be big unrelenting pressure increase number of consecutive slash with strong attacks in punisher mode uh oh you could like double up on I just now noticed they started repeating oh so you could double up on certain one so I like these for others 
Oh, it's different brothers. Hmm. The other ones didn't get level up on their weapons yet, I guess. Be the thing to assume correctly. So two more things, and then the Chatley missions. Uh, let's see. I've been going for four hours. Uh, let me see if I can just knock these out before we have to... At least these. They just can't be that difficult. I think. Oh, I want to get it too. Down there. That went way higher than I, I farther than I expected. I wanted to get Isn't it? Yep. Damn. Throttle wrist guards. Duration of detrimental stats effects applied for reduced uh, duration. Take it. things I can make what's gonna be a weapon. Did I misread that all? Because if so, whoops. Bracer is better than. Oh, wait, no. Did I misread that? Oh, no. Enhanced Crucible Bracer is better. The 
This has a couple more slots to which is armlet. But it's an eight point difference. So you can't that's good to know so when it shows this little light then that means it is linked so then if i'm stealing i should be absorbing 15 percent damage as well more incentivizing trying to get uv to steal shit or use a steal action i mean this looks like you would want to Fast travel. Please. Do it on the off chance that's one of those collectible items. No. I wish you could jump really high and then do like a glide. Good old Spyro glide. Large herb herbivorous 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 bees found in forested regions. True tanks of the animal kingdom. They boast thick hides, sturdy muscles, and two giant horns. Automatically become pressured after using certain attacks. They will begin to heal themselves with concentrate when their stagger gauge gets high, but this can be interrupted by hitting them with two powerful offensive abilities. Okay, and they need a fire weakness. Still here. Get the fucking okay. Fine. <laughs> I was like, oh no, it's doing the concentrate thing, and I'm. Take 
Oh, now we're good. Cool. Kind of backwards stumbled into that one. Yeah, world intel complete. Let's go. Feels good not to get that after we weren't robbed it of the last open area. How dare they? Came back with a vengeance. You have completed all battle assignments within the Gungaga region. I've added a new trial to the simulator, which you may undertake at your leisure. <sighs> at your leisure? Cheeky, considering you're not risking life and limb. Neither are they. It's VR. Know that I am ever aware of the hazards you must face, Cloud. I will endeavor to not only assist you, but ease the way to more burdens in my humor. <laughs> if my begins to grate, I'll gladly tweak her AI. Cold. Alright, Gaga region basically done. Oh, Coral region. Not. Oh, I meant to. Let me zip on over there and stand in front of Chatley before we end the stream so that I know when I pick this up. But that is what I must do. Uh, oh, the barracks. I wanted to check the. Do I have enough plumes for buying the gear? Keep going. Gangaga so large. Treating your chocobos right? Yeah. I don't have how where are all the rest of the the plumes? Get this one since it's the the easiest to see. And it's a big old dorky head fucking mask. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Alright, so when we uh, reconvene in this game, it'll just be doing the Chadley VR missions, several battles to go through. With him, and then, uh, and then we go on Mr. Sid's plane. He'll take us to, uh, Cosmo Canyon, apparently. Although I think this game hasn't told us his name is Sid. Uh, unless they really did something as crazy as changing a character's name that should be Sid. But, um, that should be tomorrow, during the day. Hopefully I can get a day stream going for at least a bit, maybe not super long. Um, like I said, I have like one thing I massively need to do tomorrow, and hopefully, I have the drive and energy to uh, take care of that um, in the morning, towards the morning time. So we'll see. We'll see how good I am at sticking to that. Uh, and then Higurashi tomorrow night as well. We'll still do that. So uh, more of Chapter Two. Uh, Watanagashi. The thing that confuses me the most is there's chapters inside chapters. Bad, bad naming um, convention there. Unfortunate. Uh, all right. Thanks for watching and hanging out. Have a nice rest of your night. Have a great weekend. Until tomorrow. So long.